Did your parents uh, sort of uh, tell you, hey, James, or Jimmy, Jimmy, you're really good? Jimmy. Did yeah. they call you Jimmy? Um, no. Okay. I, no, not so much. No. Uh, uh, they were, I wouldn't say, like, the best thing that, that I got from my parents was complete apathy toward whether or not I should be an actor. Like, they just didn't really, didn't care. Like, it's up to you. You know, do what you want. They weren't really against it. They weren't really that for it either. So you didn't have to really, I you didn't try, did you try to prove supportive. to them that you were good? Did you always, were you always trying to, like, look at me, I'm great? Were you that guy? Were you that kid that was just like, I want everyone to know I'm great? Because, look, I think I did. I think I have many times in my life where I'm like, yeah. I want, I want to be great. So people think, and that's obviously not the way to be. Yeah. I definitely was like that. There was a time when I thought that if I couldn't be the greatest actor in the world, there was no point in trying at all. And, and then, then you, you come to realize that, that there's no real competition in art, you know, that all artists, we're all trying to just uh, get honest with ourselves and then express what we find. And so like, um, like I couldn't, I, you would never want to do uh, Rebel Without a Cause, like the remake. If you get the call, we're, we're remaking Rebel Without a Cause, you want the lead. You know, you would never say yes to that because you cannot touch James Dean and you can't, you, no success will be in, in, in redoing that. But I don't know if James Dean would make the greatest spike, frankly. Exactly. Know? So I, I'm only trying to be the best me. 